In this video, you will learn how to transform the equation of a conic by rotating the axes by a given angle. Begin by graphing the ellipse given by the following equation. x squared over 9 plus y squared over 1 equals 1. Now, for a moment, imagine rotating the ellipse 45 degrees counterclockwise, which gives us a conic section with a graph that is not aligned to the x or y axis. The equation 5x squared minus 8xy plus 5y squared minus 9 equals 0 represents this ellipse. A new coordinate system could be introduced that has the same origin but an xy coordinate system that is also rotated 45 degrees counterclockwise. In this coordinate system, the rotated ellipse has a major axis on the new x-axis and a minor axis on the new y-axis. We can now develop the rotation of axes formulas, which allow us to transform a second degree equation in xy into an equation in the new capital XY system of a conic that is familiar to us. We will use the generalized equation ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. Let the new xy coordinate system be displaced from the xy coordinate system by a rotation of theta degrees. In this example, note that we are speaking generally, not using specific values. Let p equal some point at distance r from the origin. We can represent the point p as the point xy on the original coordinate system, or capital xy on the new coordinate system. Next, we will define angle alpha as the angle that r makes with the new x-axis, which means that alpha plus theta is the angle that r makes with the original x-axis. We can now represent point P in polar coordinates using the following relationships. x equals r times cosine of the quantity alpha plus theta, y equals r times sine of the quantity alpha plus theta, capital X equals r times cosine of alpha, and capital Y equals r times sine of alpha. Now we can derive the rotation of axes formulas. We will start with the x term and write the cosine identity for the sum. So, x equals r times cosine of the quantity alpha plus theta, which equals r times the quantity cosine of alpha times cosine of theta minus sine of alpha times sine of theta. Next, we eliminate parentheses and group r with the alpha terms. So, x equals the quantity r times cosine of alpha times cosine of theta minus the quantity r times sine of alpha times sine of theta. Then, substitute according to the relationships we found previously. Capital X equals r times cosine of alpha and capital Y equals r times sine of alpha. This gives us the rotation of axis formula x equals capital X times cosine of theta minus capital Y times sine of theta. We can then duplicate this process for the y term. Begin by writing the sine identity for a sum. So y equals r times sine of the quantity alpha plus theta equals r times the quantity sine of alpha times cosine of theta plus cosine of alpha times sine of theta. Next, eliminate parentheses and group r with the alpha terms. So, y equals the quantity r times sine of alpha times cosine of theta plus the quantity r times cosine of alpha times sine of theta. Then substitute according to the relationships we found previously to get y equals capital Y times cosine of theta plus capital X times sine of theta. Now, suppose that the x and y axes in the rectangular coordinate plane are rotated through an acute angle theta to produce the capital X and capital Y axes. We can solve for capital X and capital Y in terms of X and Y, and doing so tells us that the coordinates X, Y and capital X, capital Y are related according to the following equations. X equals capital X times cosine of theta minus capital Y times sine of theta and y equals capital X times sine of theta plus capital Y times cosine of theta. Or, capital X equals X times cosine of theta 
plus y times sine of theta, and capital Y equals negative x times sine of theta plus y times cosine of theta. Now let's try an example. Show that the equation 2x squared plus 3xy plus 2y squared minus 1 equals 0 represents an ellipse aligning with coordinate axes that are rotated by 135 degrees. Start with the rotation formulas, substituting 135 degrees for theta to get x equals capital X times cosine of 135 degrees minus capital Y times sine of 135 degrees and y equals capital X times sine of 135 degrees plus capital Y times cosine of 135 degrees. Next, evaluate cosine of 135 degrees by rewriting it as cosine of the quantity 45 degrees plus 90 degrees, which then equals negative sine of 45 degrees. Similarly, evaluate sine of 135 degrees by rewriting it as sine of the quantity 45 degrees plus 90 degrees, which then equals cosine of 45 degrees. Continuing on, Recall that both sine of 45 degrees and cosine of 45 degrees are equal to the square root of 2 over 2. As a result, they can be factored out as a common factor. Thus, we simplify these equations to x equals the square root of 2 over 2 times the quantity negative capital X minus capital Y, and y equals the square root of 2 over 2 times the quantity capital X minus capital Y. Now that we've solved for x and y, we can substitute them into the given equation 2x squared plus 3xy plus 2y squared minus 1 equals 0. This gives us 2 times the squared quantity of the square root of 2 over 2 times the quantity negative capital X minus capital Y plus 3 times the quantity of the square root of 2 over 2 times the quantity negative capital X minus capital Y times the quantity of the square root of 2 over 2 times the quantity capital X minus capital Y plus 2 times the squared quantity of the square root of 2 over 2 times the quantity capital X minus capital Y minus 1 equals 0. Next, simplify the equation to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared plus 3 halves times the quantity negative x squared plus y squared plus x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals 1. Combining like terms results in the equation x squared over 2 plus 7y squared over 2 equals 1. This combined equation is the equation of the ellipse represented by the given equation when its graph is rotated by 135 degrees.